This week on Sportsman TV, we trophy fishing. Come on, go with us. Well, basically, you know, it's, it's, this is a real typical weather scenario for this time of the year. You know, our humidity is so high and it's really gotten warm. You know, like last night, it, it hardly, well, actually the last couple nights, it's hardly got below 60. And, uh, you know, the ground is still cold. The ground hasn't warmed up yet. So, you know, with the water still being colder and, uh, and the ground being colder, you just, you know, that's living in the south. <laughs> this is just real common for this time of the year because all weather's kind of typically like that. You know, we, go, we don't really have a lot of in-between weather. You know, it's just typical cold to hot, cold to hot, back and forth, back and forth. And, uh, but, you know, always early in the year like this, anytime you get fog, the good thing about it is that means it's warming up, you know, so. These types of days, you know, boy, sometimes you just really have a good day. And of course, the place we're fishing, it's got a lot of big fish in it, so I'm pretty fired up. I mean, it's. Anytime you can go to a place where you might catch your personal best, there's a really, you know, legit shot at catching one, you know, the fish of a lifetime, it always kind of seems to stimulate me. You know, it's, it's like deer hunting, you know, going to a place that's got trophy deer, you know, I mean, it just, the days cannot be long enough. Oh, uh, well, typically, you know, low light conditions like that, you know, I, I have a tendency to want to power fish at first. Uh, you know, it's low light. Uh, we don't have much wind, but, you know, so, I may change a little later, but I always start off in these conditions, you know, regardless of the time of the year, power fishing. And what I mean by that, you know, using moving baits, bigger baits, uh, you know, something that's easy for those fish to find. I fish seas better on cloudy days than they do on sunny days. And the reason for that, there are no shadows. It's, it's hard to surprise them, you know, what I mean by that. You know, on a sunny day, they can be laying by a piece of cover and you can come out of the, you know, come around it and they won't, uh, and they won't see it where on, you know, cloudy days, it's hard to surprise them. That's the reason sometimes on cloudy days, if you don't have wind, you know, you'll have to change, you know, have to change and go to baits that are a little more finesse just because they see so well. Ant anticipation is high. But we might have to make an adjustment, you know. I mean, we're fishing in a place that's heavily pressured. These fish do get to see baits, you know, they get fished for every day. So. Well, they're all real healthy, though. He got it a little better. He was up shell. Tastes like fish. Over here at Bowie Outfitters, hunting and fishing is our passion. We can help you pick all the right gear for your next fishing trip. We spend time in the woods too, so we know what products to recommend when hunting season comes around. We understand the outdoors and what it takes to have success on your hunting and fishing adventures. So come on down to Bowie Outfitters and let us help get you going. Bowie Outfitters, everything outdoors.
for camping, fishing, hunting, or anything outdoors, bring along Arctic Ice. Simply freeze these versatile cooler packs and they're ready to keep your food and drinks cold throughout your outing. Arctic Ice can maintain in a cooler 60% longer than the equal weight of regular ice and with no more mess or soggy food. Arctic Ice is clean and easy. Alaskan series can maintain a sub 40 degree cooler for days and the Tundra series can keep game frozen till it gets home. Preserve an Arctic refuge in your cooler. Choose Arctic Ice. Don't just be a sportsman, look like one too. Men, women, kids, everyone wants to look like a good sport. And now you can find it all in one place without leaving the house. Our popular sportsman brand apparel and accessories are just a click away at forsportsman.com. T-shirts, caps, polarized sunglasses, jewelry, tumblers, and more are available in a variety of sizes and colors. It's easy to show the world that you are a sportsman. Visit forsportsman.com today and get that perfect sportsman item for yourself or as a gift for that sportsman in your life. Fishing, it's where good stories come from. It's about good times and family and friends. It's about taking a couple home for dinner tonight and saving a few for tomorrow. It's all about that and so much more. To CCA, fishing is about enjoying today and making sure tomorrow is even better. To us, fishing comes with a responsibility for the resources we enjoy so much. If fishing means all that to you, then you belong with CCA. spawn here in uh, from now through April depending on the weather obviously the lake record was caught here on the full moon in April probably about nine or ten years ago the lake record still stands it's 14-3 um, so kind of depending on the weather but you know we've got full moon coming up later on this this week of course water temp is in the low 50s so and we got more cold weather coming, so don't really know. It may push them back, so it may be next month, but uh, they're getting close. Oh, that's a better one there. Yeah, that's a better one. You got it good. It looked like you had it completely swallowed, like a light line. Oh, did you see him spit it out? He, it was completely in his mouth, and he opened up, and it, uh, I hate to say this, I hadn't retired that since the classic. Thank you, sir. I see that's more along the line what we're looking. That's still kind of small for the body of water we're fishing in, but that's better. Yeah, yeah. He had that bait completely swallowed, and then I watched it pop out of his. Uh, watched it pop out of his mouth. That's a nice one. He, he's not gonna make the picture fish though. He's going back. <laughs> he's close. Uh, well, this is a Strike King Lucky Shad, and uh, in natural shad color, and it's basically, you know, it's a it's a it's a slim profile, you know, shad imitation. I, I really like it early in the year because it's real subtle. I, I feel like it'll get a bite when, you know, fish are not really aggressive. It's something easy for them to catch. Um, now it comes with number six hooks. I put number fours in it. I try to put the biggest set of hooks I can put in a bait. And because of the way this bait is weighted, it basically makes it suspend with number fours. So when I let hit something or let off on it, it just dead still. And it just really does a good job of mimicking a shad in cold water. Now, there are some other baits on the, out there on the market like this. This one's got a rattle in it, which I, in when the water's cold, I don't mind a rattle. I mean, it's not an overpowering rattle. Um, I have it on 12 pound fluorocarbon. It'll run, you know, long cast, seven foot on 12. You can downsize to about eight, you know, maybe get it eight or nine, put it on spinning rod and make longer casts. But that's one thing that I do like about it because you can, a lot of these baits that are made like this are hard to throw on a big bait caster. This one is just heavy enough to throw and, uh, and you know, and it catches the right size fish. So I really like, would rather have it on big tackle. <laughs> he's going deep fast. I have no idea. Oh, he's small. God, he was running though. When he ran like that, I was like, I never have felt him, but I. They're all healthy though. But it's just a good way to get a bite. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it, it'll catch little ones, it catches good ones, it, but it's just when the water's cold and I catch them on it when it's, 
Like when I say cold, I mean like 40 degrees cold. Now I'm fishing it a little bit faster today, you know, cause the water's in the low fifties, you know, but that's still pretty cold for our area. You know, you about figured the part of the country that we're in, 53 is like 43 up north. You know, the fish act about the same. So uh, it's pretty simple. You know, we're just, we're staying back off of these. There's, there's an old pad line around the, the lip of this and those fish just seem to kind of be sitting out in front of it. It's cranking around the edge of it. Uh, I feel sure today before it's over with, you know, we're gonna catch them right up on the bank. They wanna go there. You know, there's no doubt it's that time of the year and uh, it warms up this afternoon. I think they'll head that way. I think that's going to be the deal. Keep making adjustments. Now see, that's kind of more on the lines of what we, you know. Uh, basic quarter ounce, hack attack heavy cover swim jig. Um, this is blue crawl. I got a Rage Crawl, Green Punk, and Blue Sapphire trailer. This looks like a bluegill. You know, this water's pretty clean. Just swimming it. You see just a little bit of those pads left. Just kind of popping it and swimming it through them. And I don't think it's area because we've been through a lot of area like this. I think it's just, you know, getting something that they getting something that they like, you know, because I feel sure we'll be able to go back around through the places where we've already fished. Uh, well, basically, you know, I, I'm, I'm shaking that jig and picking up the slack, and it's just moving along, but it's spending a little time, you know, in, the, in one area. Like, I'm not getting it out quick, you know, and uh, it's just experimentation because sometimes, you know, they want it on a steady reel, they want it down. You know, there'll be situations where they want it just burned as fast as you can reel it, you know, like it's trying to get away. But uh, these first couple, you know, they seem to, it's, it's real slick too. And uh, it's, uh, you know, if it was a little more windy, I'd, I'd probably want to fish it down a little more. But with it slick like that, I want it up close to the surface where they can't see it very well. You get it down there around them with the conditions like they are and they just see so well. Here comes one, Jerry, big one too. But it seems like they don't, you know, they don't like it on a straight reel. They like that, you know, it's like that bait is crippled. I saw him shocking it before he, uh, before he came, yeah, he don't look good. You will keep him? Okay. Bowie Outfitters is your one-stop shop for all types of outdoor cooking. Tailgating? We've got Bayou Classic Barbecue Pits and King Cooker Jambalaya Pots. If frying's your favorite, check out r &D Works Cajun Fryers and Cajun Injector Products to keep meat moist and flavorful. Black iron skillets are key in a southern kitchen, and Bowie carries a big selection of lodge cast iron, plus Bayou Classic Pots for your next crawfish boil. Come to Bowie Outfitters and let us get you cooking. Bowie Outfitters, everything outdoors. Man, what a year. What a year. Life changing. All the way from my home in Louisiana to the Great Lakes up north in Michigan. I did it. You know, I didn't do it by myself. It takes a team, man. It's all about the team. Nobody gets there alone. Nope. Man, thank you, Striking. LouisianaSportsman.com is the South's premier hunting and fishing website. Planning a hunting or fishing trip? Visit LouisianaSportsman.com and get up-to-the-date information on weather, tides, or solar no data. Our breaking news and continually updating form will keep you up-to-date. Or visit our report section and ask the locals what's been biting and where. Need to sell or buy an outdoor item? LouisianaSportsman.com's free classifieds are the quickest way for you to reach the outdoor market. LouisianaSportsman.com, the quick way to get the most of the outdoors.
Hi, I'm Greg Hackney, 2014 Bassmaster Elite Series Angler of the Year. You know, fishing both tournament trails, both BASS and FLW, is really hard on your equipment. And one thing that I depend on to do all my heavy lifting with is my TNH Marine Atlas Jack Plate. Atlas Jack Plates come pre-drilled for shallow water anchor attachment. They also come in six different offsets, one that fits everyone's needs. You know, for me, the biggest thing about Atlas Jack Plates, they make it a lot easier for me to make a living. TNH Marine has been the choice of champions since 19. Well, basically what we're dealing with today is a little rain delay. Now, with, with that being said, I mean, it's pouring down rain on a typical day, we would probably go ahead and fish, uh, you know, but that is one of the drawbacks when we're filming, you know, you, it's hard to film in the rain, you know, it's kind of hard on the camera equipment. But uh, what it does is get us a chance to kind of break down what we've done already. Uh, you know, we basically we started off today, we, we've cranked a little bit, thrown a worm, had a few bites. Uh, right before, you know, before this rain came, you know, I got on a swim jig deal, which is a huge technique. And it's, it's really, it used to be kind of what I considered a niche technique because I didn't know any better. And what I mean by that would it only be certain times that I would throw it. Well, now by changing the weight of my jig, the color of my jig, uh, you know, the trailers, it's a year-round technique, especially in our area, you know, in the south, all over the south, actually. And uh, the reason I say that is because we have such good cover for it. We have a lot of heavy cover, just a great technique. Uh, kind of takes the place of a vibrating jig, a spinner bait. You know, there are times when we're dealing with really clear water conditions, and those fish, you know, they don't like anything shiny. They don't like the blades on a spinner bait. They don't like that vibrating jig. But what I can do with that swim jig is I can still have a bait fish presentation just without all the flash and all the shine, just a real natural presentation. Now, the jig that I've used so far today is a Hack Attack Heavy Cover Swim Jig. And uh, basically, the difference with, say, a swim jig and a casting jig, the Hack Attack Flipping Jig has a, a lot stiffer weed guard. Uh, because basically with this jig, you know, you're not pulling it in and out of, you know, trees and everything. You're actually just swimming it through them. So you can get by with a softer weed guard. Also, a lot of your strikes on a swim jig will be made on a long cast, you know, so you might get bit way out there. It's just a good idea to have that soft weed guard. I don't trim it or anything because you can tell it's, it's soft. I can just barely pull my finger down it, you know, and get it to stick. Uh, this is actually the one that I'm using today. It's a blue crawl. Uh, just, you know, because we clear water situation. Um, it's just a great bluegill imitation. Now, with that being said, this is also a bluegill imitation. This is color is actually bluegill is the name of it. Um, and the deal is, if sun was out today, a little brighter day, I would be more apt to throw this one. It's a little more vibrant color. They see it a little better. I like a little bit darker colors on these darker days dealing with clear water. You know, if it continues to rain, and you're, you know, sure enough dark, the water's got a little more color to it, you know, I'll actually just swim a black and blue one. And I, I feel like that all of these jigs, these three colors, and I mean, you know, uh, another one, Candy Crawls, another bluegill imitation, but all of these in the right weather and the right water color, I can make, make look like a bluegill, you know, or some type of perch. Well, basically, how I match my trailers to my jig, this is a Candy Crawl jig, one of the cool things at Strike King, they make a rage crawl in basically every color that they make a jig color in. Say this is a candy crawl swim jig, and this is a candy crawl rage crawl. And I do mix and match sometimes, but most of the time it's a pretty good idea, you know, to match the rage crawl the exact same color to the jig. Just depending on water color is how I decided, you know, am I going to use a blue crawl, am I going to use a candy crawl, am I going to use a bluegill, you know, am I going to use just a straight green pumpkin, uh, black and blue. But basically what I do to rig this, I typically always do this, I never leave the rage crawl long. If I threaded it on this swim jig without cutting any of it off, I basically would have a lot of trailer behind the jig. Now, it's not that they won't bite it like this, but what happens sometimes, you know, when you're in heavy cover and you're moving that jig, the, that fish is super attracted to that rage crawl trailer. And so what'll happen, they can actually get the trailer without getting the jig. So what I like to do, I bite it off. The rage crawl comes segmented. I typically go down two segments, pop that off, and now I've made my trailer a lot more compact. 
Now the swim jig has this wire keeper on the back of it. So what I do, I thread the rage crawl up on there and it's a really big deal to make sure that you center the head of the rage crawl with the hook point. And the reason for that is to make sure that the jig, jig will track straight in the water. You want it to lay flat. You don't want it to roll one side or the other. Uh, the, the fish will get it better if it's coming straight and actually it helps you get more bites the straighter that jig is swimming through the water. It just has a more natural appearance. So I thread that up on there and once I do that, then I mash that metal keeper on the back down in the trailer. So now that spike is in the back because I'm putting this jig into lily pad fields, lily patches, uh, pass and whatever, you know, whatever I'm coming by. I'll throw it right up in the middle. Places that you can't throw a spinner bait and a bladed jig and an exposed hook, I can swim that jig in that area. So now it's just right. Basically all I have hanging now under the skirt are the legs of the rage crawl. So when that fish comes to get it now, I've made a, a compact bait. There's a better chance of him, he's gonna get the hook. Now a, another big key when you're swimming a jig is, is not to strike on the, the on the actual fish strike. And what I mean by that is not to swing until I feel the fish. Even, because a lot of the bites on the swim jig, especially when you have it up on the surface, will be really violent. I mean, you'll see them, whoosh, you know, get it. Actually, a couple this morning, I, I'd see them waking. They're sharking it and before they get it. And uh, so I just wait and I keep doing. I don't really change the, the retrieve much when I see them coming and I wait to feel them. Once I, I visually see the strike, I just keep whining until the slack's out. I, I like them bending on the rod. And what that allows me to do in heavy cover, because what'll happen a lot of times, they, if you, they'll get around something and there'll be slack in it when you set the hook. So if I wait for them to pull me and I actually feel the fish on the rod, there's no slack in the line. So I just, the hookup's a lot better that way. But basically, you know, it's a real simple setup. It's a really versatile bait too. Like this morning, they seemed like they wanted it up. You know, sometimes when the wind's blowing, I'll fish it a little deeper. And there are other times when the water's really cold because to me, any time the water's higher than 42 degrees, there's a chance to catch them swimming a jig. And, uh, and what I'll do when the water's super cold is I actually slow roll it like you would a spinnerbait. But in that situation, I like, you know, a lot of good water visibility. You know, for me, swimming a jig is a sight deal. The fish needs to see it. This bait's not putting out a lot of vibration. They're not feeling it like they would a, a spinnerbait or a, a pure poison or a rage blade, something that's thumping. You know, this is a visible deal for them, so they're seeing it. So uh, to me, you know, I like to have a foot and a half of visibility or more, you know, to endless. You know, I mean, it, I, you can catch them swimming a jig when you can see the bottom in 20, you know, but uh, I do like to at least be able to see a foot, a foot and a half deep. Typically, and when you can only see a foot or a foot and a half, they'll be really close to the cover. So I would really want to make sure with that swim jig, I make contact with everything that I swim it by. Over here at Bowie Outfitters, hunting and fishing is our passion. We can help you pick all the right gear for your next fishing trip. We spend time in the woods too, so we know what products to recommend when hunting season comes around. We understand the outdoors and what it takes to have success on your hunting and fishing adventures. So come on down to Bowie Outfitters and let us help get you going. Bowie Outfitters, everything outdoors. Louisiana Sportsman Magazine. For over 31 years, your source for fishing and hunting information. Each month you will find stories by local experts on everything from bass to redfish to ducks, deer to trout and turkey. We've got incredible local information that you can use immediately to get more success outdoors. You'll also enjoy monthly columns on cooking, the latest lures, GPS locations, shooting, kayaks, and much more. Have Louisiana Sportsman delivered to your house and safe. $24.99 gets you a full year of Louisiana Sportsman. To order today, visit louisianasportsman.com. Man, what a year. What a year. Life changing. All the way from my home in Louisiana to the Great Lakes up north in Michigan. I did it. You know, I didn't do it by myself. It takes a team, man. It's all about the team. Nobody gets there alone. Nope. Man, thank you, Striking. 
for camping, fishing, hunting, or anything outdoors, bring along Arctic Ice. Simply freeze these versatile cooler packs and they're ready to keep your food and drinks cold throughout your outing. Arctic Ice can maintain in a cooler 60% longer than the equal weight of regular ice and with no more mess or soggy food. Arctic Ice is clean and easy. Alaskan series can maintain a sub 40 degree cooler for days and the Tundra series can keep game frozen till it gets home. Preserve an Arctic refuge in your cooler. Choose Arctic Ice. Boy, look big. I mean, when he got it, he's not, he's not overly big, but God, he was aggressive. Yeah. I just had to talk, I guess I had to uh, talk, talk him into it. Yeah, yeah, I began to think if that was going to happen anymore. Uh, uh, let me put him in the, uh -huh. he's got a broke. I see him. Oh. Uh, that's fish. Suckers. Like a roller coaster ride. I mean, he couldn't have been more aggressive. I mean, he looked like he weighed 10 when he got it. I was like, I was like, he's a monster. Really, all the ones that have bit that swim jig have bit like that too. I mean, they just, when they see it, they, you know. And typically that's a pretty good sign you're not around a bunch of them. Really? Yeah, well, you know, yeah. the, the, the reason I say that is because every one of them bites the same way. Mm -hmm. So if you're around a bunch of them, you'll be getting a bunch of bites. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. there's not a lot of fish doing this. Mm -hmm. That's a little better representative of what we, mm -hmm. what we hear. Mm -hmm. Regardless of where you go fishing and how good you think it's going to be, always bring plenty of options. Join us here next time on Sportsman TV.